Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa Samino. Welcome back to my channel and thank you guys all so much for tuning in today. Today is going to be all about messages from your future self and just things that your future self wants you to know. So I haven't done one of these readings in a minute. So I thought why not update you guys on the messages that I get on what your future self would want you to know right now. So if this is the first time that you're on my channel, do not forget to subscribe to join the fam. And also if you like this reading and found it helpful or insightful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. So yeah, you guys, I have five groups prepared for you today. So I would like you to pick one of the five groups intuitively. Just go with that first gut instinct of yours. And what I would also like you to know is that you can, in fact, feel drawn to two readings. So if you feel that way, feel free to tune into two readings because your personal reading may be a mixture between two. So regarding the groups, we have group number one, group number two, group number three, group number four and group number five. So if you need a minute just to meditate on the cards, feel free to pause this video right here in order to do so. Otherwise, I'm going to get straight into the readings with group number one. All right, group number one, let's see what your future self has to say to you. So we have the cat spirit, forgiveness, dolphin spirit, in the next few months as well as the porcupine spirit okay so what i see your future self wanting you to know is that it's important for you to reclaim your independence so i definitely feel like maybe you've grown a little bit too dependent on somebody or something so that could be like a crazy amount of things okay that could be you being dependent on somebody being there for you as like a support system. You could be dependent on, for instance, your phone. You know, you could be constantly checking your Instagram. You could be dependent on a drug. So that could be coffee, alcohol, whatever it is to sort of raise your mood. So this could be multiple things. It could be one thing. I'm not saying that um, this is just one thing that you're dependent on. Obviously, it could be like a few different things in your life and your future self wants you to know that um, you have to claim your independence back. You have to do it out of your own strength because at the end of the day, even if you go to therapy, for instance, if you're very dependent on a person or a substance, the only person that can truly get you out of the rut is you. So maybe you're also sort of dependent on um, someone financially. Like I said, this could be a heap of different substances you know, items, people, pets. And your future self wants you to know that it's okay to have fallen sort of into this codependency trap and it's okay to forgive yourself. You know, that's why you have forgiveness in your reading. It's important for you to not be too hard on yourself and to not start having negative feelings towards yourself because none of us are perfect. We all sometimes fall into a situation where we depend on someone for maybe a little bit too long or we just depend too much on a certain thing in our life that we need to remember that we have to be independent as individuals and we have to know that um, it's okay to sometimes mess up. It's okay to slip up. And what you do is you forgive yourself you notice the situation, you rectify it, and then you move on. Then I can see in the porcupine spirit that you need a fresh start, you need a fresh mind. So I definitely want you to sort of um, declutter your mind of any negative thoughts to sort of rewire your brain as I can see that um, it's just sort of your dependency on whatever it is that you are dependent on has um, maybe caused you to not function clearly, has maybe made that sort of the epicenter of your life. And it's important for you to remember that you're the center of your life. You're the most important part of your life and you need to do what makes you happy. So your future self has definitely sent, you know, the kind, gentle, but still very intelligent and wise dolphin spirit to guide you and to tell you that you know, on one hand, yes, you can have fallen into this codependency thing and humans mess up, but um, on the other side, it's also important for you to learn from your mistakes and to move forward, sort of preventing yourself from falling into any of these situations ever again. So um, yeah, definitely freshen up your mindset, freshen up your true core values that you have for yourself. 
and your future self wants you to know that within the next few months, you know, it's sort of this time where you've been codependent, this time where maybe it has been difficult for you to forgive yourself about something that has been going on, that um, it will in fact move past within the next few months. It will in fact pass by and, you know, just let bygones be bygones. So your future self definitely wants you to know that any hardships that you have in your life right now are going to be over in a few months and they're going to be completely forgotten. So I want you not to worry too much and not to stress too much about any hardships, any things that you feel like you've been doing wrong in your life. I definitely want you to just know that, you know, it's gonna pass by as long as you sort of have the right intentions for yourself, as long as you give yourself a fresh start. And in a couple of months time, any of these hardships or difficulties that you've been going through are gonna be completely forgotten. So yeah, group number one, and those are the messages that I received from your future self. Okay, group number two, let's see what messages your future self has for you. So we have the grasshopper spirit, ready, the bat spirit, taking action, as well as the canary spirit. One thing that I see instinctively that your future self wants you to know is that you're ready to take the leap of faith, okay? As the grasshopper spirit suggests, you have to take the leap of faith and you have to be brave and take that next step out of your comfort zone because you know great things never happen in your comfort zone. Amazing things, amazing breakthroughs, they never happen in the area that you're comfortable in. They always happen outside of your comfort zone and they always happen when you try something new. So your future self is here to encourage you and tell you that you are in fact ready because um, if you just wait for the moment of feeling ready, if you wait for the moment of feeling like it's the right time, that is never going to come. As we all know, getting out of our comfort zones, is ne it's never the right moment for that. You know, it's never the right moment to try something that we feel fearful of. It's never the right moment to try something where we feel like we might get rejected or sort of ridiculed for it. But your future self wants you to know that in order to be happy in life and in order to truly achieve what it is that you've always wanted to achieve, you have to do your own thing. So the canary spirit tells me that you know you have to follow sort of your intuition and you have to go with what you feel is right for you. So if you're for instance thinking of switching jobs or going on a unconventional sort of career path, if you're trying to do something very unconventional in your life, you have to do it regardless of other of what other people think about it. So I've done this in the past too. I mean, a lot of people have told me that, you know, what I'm doing is crazy and this and that. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to make yourself happy. And you, if that means singing your own song and people not approving, you know, whenever you do great things, whenever you do things that you're successful at, not everyone agrees with them. And often these emotions, you know, from other people can stem from jealousy just because, um, you know, when people disapprove of what it is that you do, it is really more an issue that they have with themselves because maybe they are envious of the fact that you have taken the leap of faith. So don't listen to naysayers and take action. Your future self wants you to take action and not let anyone stop you. And, you know, if you are already on the path that you feel that you should be on and there seems to always always be sort of bumps in the road. There seems to always be these reoccurring discussions with your friends, your family, with, you know, even strangers telling you how they feel that you should live your life. You know, I just want you to, I just want you to hold tight for a little longer because there comes a point where you're doing where you're doing your thing and there's nothing anyone can say to you because they will not be able to reach you because it just it just won't make any sense. So I want you to know that as soon as you've reached the next level on your life path, I feel like people are definitely going to back down. They're not going to have so much input to give into your life as they can see that it's undeniable that you're doing exactly what you need to do. And um, in the bat spirit, I can see that this is completely going to change you, okay? Taking the sleep of faith that the grasshopper spirit suggests 
um, your future self is here to tell you that that is completely going to change you. There's going to be sort of almost a rebirth, a reinvention of who is you. So I don't know how soon all of this is going to happen because this is a pretty big, meaningful reading for you. But um, either way, you know, there's going to be a complete restoration of who you are and your life. And um, there's going to be a lot of exciting new things going on for you. But definitely the first step for you is to just take the leap of faith as well as to just take action. So your future self definitely wants you to move forward with what it is that you're so fearful of and to know that you're ready and that you're guided by the universe. So yeah, group number two, that is the reading that I get for you. I hope you found it insightful. If you liked it, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you in my next reading. Okay, group number three, let's see what your future self has to say to you right now. So we have the Otter Spirit. Situation will improve. The Bee Spirit. Perfect timing as well as the dog spirit. Okay, so what I see for you is that if you felt alone recently, if you felt like things were sort of, um, like you've had a lot of weight just on your shoulders, like you haven't had anyone to help you out, um, I want you to know in the otter spirit that you're not alone and that it's okay to reach out to friends, family, loved ones if you need help. So maybe you're somebody who is kind of proud or who has you know, a strong ego and you're, you sort of don't want to ask for help unnecessarily. Well, no, basically you're the kind of person who's not going to ask for someone else to go out of their way until like it's a near death experience. So um, I definitely want you to know that it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to ask of your loved ones to go that extra mile for you because you would do the same for them. So I definitely want you to keep in mind that if you're feeling alone, you know, it is normal for many of us to feel alone. It is perfectly okay to sometimes just go through that emotion, but just see it as that an emotion. I want you to know that you have people in your life who love you, you have people in your life who care about you, and there is no reason why you should let that emotion sort of get you into any sort of funk or depression. Then um, I can definitely see that your situation will improve. Your future self wants you to know that any sort of blue feelings, any sort of feelings of being a little bit down or feeling like you're not as positive as you want to be. Um, I feel like um, your future self definitely just wants to encourage you to stay on the right path and to know that any sort of emotional hardships will in fact improve and also that um, there are like really amazing results awaiting. So in the B spirit, I can see that your future self is trying to communicate with you that there are in fact sweet results awaiting, if you know what I mean, and um, that you just need to keep working hard. You know, we all know that that is what the B stands for, for hard work, but also really amazing sweet rewards. But another thing that's very interesting about bees is that they all sort of have a job in the beehive. They all have a certain um, position where they have a certain function and that is exactly what they need to do. So I want you to sort of become clear of the function, the role that you play in other people's lives, the role that you play in your job, and to always sort of um, come back to the realization that, hey, in my parents' life, I play the role of you know, the child that they love and care for so much, so I don't wanna make them feel worried. In my job, I play the role of, I don't know, bringing people food, so I need to make sure that people feel comfortable with me bringing them their meals. Uh, whatever it is that you know you do in life, whatever it is that you are sort of, you've sort of like neglected the roles of, I want you to realize once again what your role is and also to stick to fulfilling that role. And your future self definitely wants you to do what you love, to be loyal to what you love, and to not let any sort of feeling of comparison, to not let any feeling of this not being the right time um, interfere with you and what it is that you love. So if you really love painting or singing, but you always sort of feel like, oh, you know, like it's not the right time to paint now, it's not the right time to sing now, it's not the right time to journal now, or whatever it is, um, the universe wants you to know, your future self wants you to know that 
you know, now is the perfect time. If not now, when then, you know? So definitely make sure that you're loyal to what it is that you love, to what it is that you've always wanted to do, as um, only you can truly make yourself happy and only you can start living your best life right now. So I definitely want you to not procrastinate at all. I want you to start doing whatever it is that you love right now and also just remind yourself of the different roles that you play in your life and the roles that you play in this world and make sure that you properly get to how it is that you can play the best possible role. So like I said, if you're playing, you know, the role of a best friend to a certain person, make sure that you make them feel loved. Make sure that you make them feel taken care of and like they always have someone to talk to because sometimes we can sort of forget about what role, what purpose it is that we serve for other people's lives and forget how fulfilling it is to actually, you know, to actually play that role and to actually fulfill that purpose. So yeah, group number three, that is the reading that I get for you from your future self. Hope you liked this reading. I hope you found it insightful and I will see you in one of my next videos. Okay, group number four, let's see what your future self has to say to you right now. So we have the cow spirit choosing a direction, the giraffe spirit is up to you, and the starfish spirit. Okay, so one thing that I see your future self trying to communicate with you is the fact that you need to see the big picture. So just like a giraffe, it's important for you to not get lost in just, you know, the one tree that you're at right now, the one little bunch of tasty leaves that you're trying to grab right now. It's important for you to use the vision that you have to use any sort of um, life wisdom, any sort of life experience in order to see the big picture. So I want you to definitely make use of the fact that you are in fact able to see the big picture. You know, as human beings, we are very smart beings and you have to make use of it and not always just focus on the little things and not stress about the little things. So your future self wants you to know that um, before you start stressing out about little things that don't really have a lasting effect, look at the big picture and look at what it's gonna do for the big picture. So for instance, if you're in a romantic relationship or in a friendship, whatever relationship, we all have that that or those relationships where we argue a lot or we sort of have um, a little bit of conflict every now and then just because we have different ideas, different visions of how life is or what we're supposed to do. So your future self wants you to really ask yourself, you know, is it worth this argument? Is it worth this fight? Like what effect will being right in an argument really have on the big picture? Not probably not an effect at all. So um, your future self definitely wants you to focus on just the things that actually matter in the grand scheme because chances are the person that you're arguing with, you love them, you care about them. There's no point in even arguing with them. There's no point in not seeing the bigger picture, which is love and the fact that you can just choose a very positive route instead of a route of disagreement. So. Your future self definitely wants you to choose a new direction in any relationships where you feel like you do have some conflict and some disagreements and to choose to be the bigger person because sometimes we can get so caught up in just, you know, patterns of always sort of disagreeing and it getting a little bit heated and then saying you're sorry and it's starting all over again. So your future self definitely wants you to know that it is in fact possible to choose a new direction. It is, in fact, it is in fact possible for you to choose to be the bigger person and um, it's all up to you, you know? Your future self has brought you this card to this specific reading for a reason, you know? You're sitting here watching this reading for a reason and it is because your future self is here to remind you once again that your relationships, your life is up to you and 
As long as you're open to infinite possibility, as long as you're open to let any sort of miracles in, to drift into any direction, that is how you know that you're able to reach a point in life where you will be truly fulfilled. Because um, your fulfillment can come in many shapes, it can come in many different areas, in many different places, and it's important for you to be open enough to um, move to sort of like the beat of the drum and in order for you to move in directions that you maybe never considered. So as Starfish Spirit suggests, make sure that you're open to any sort of possibilities. Don't instinctively say no if you don't know something. Don't ridicule something. Don't knock something before you've actually informed yourself about it. And also um, your future self wants you to know in the cow spirit that miracles are endless, you know, Sort of being wise, seeing the bigger picture is the gift that never stops giving. So your future self definitely wants you on an emotional level to become a little bit more mature, which doesn't mean that you're immature now, but it means that you need to realize that your life, the outcome of your relationships, the outcome of you as a person is all up to you and you just need to be open to change open to saying yes instead of no so that is the reading that i get for group number four from your future self i hope you liked this reading and found it insightful if you did do not forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you in my next readings okay group number five let's see what your future self has to say to you right now so we have the turtle spirit, weight, the skunk spirit, reconsideration, as well as the wasp spirit. All right, so what your future self wants you to know right now. Instinctively, you know, in the center of your reading, we have the skunk spirit. And the skunk spirit is here to sort of say to you that you have to know your worth and that you have to make sure that you're not selling yourself below your worth because so often these days um, we sort of settle for less than we know we deserve but we just subconsciously when we don't fully accept and love ourselves this is what can subconsciously happen we can subconsciously sort of accept certain behavior and certain treatment from other people that we know isn't right and that we know we don't want in our lives just because we're, we don't 100% feel worthy and deserving and your future self wants you to know that you are worthy, that you are deserving and that you're somebody who deserves only the best and deserves what it is that they truly desire in life. So your future self definitely wants you to reconsider. Your future self definitely wants you to rethink the relationships in your life and rethink you know, how you sort of let people treat you and what you let people get away with. You know, do you get away with these types of things or is it just other people getting away with certain behavior with you? So really reflect upon that as your future self wants you to, wants you to truly take a step back and reevaluate whether you've been setting healthy boundaries or not. Um, then moving on in the turtle spirit, I can see that Life may have been moving at a bit of a fast pace, or maybe you've sort of been letting a lot of work build up before you start to actually um, pick away at it or before you actually start to work on it. However, in the turtle spirit, um, your future self is telling you that it's important for you to um, focus on slow and steady progress instead of doing things really quickly or sort of pushing things to the side until they become very urgent. Definitely focus, like if you're for instance studying, definitely focus on slow and steady improvements. Do not get discouraged. Also, if you've started your own business venture or you're working a job where you're sort of um, not in a position that you're 100% happy with, uh, your future self is trying to encourage you to just give it a little bit of time, to just wait it out and to just make sure that you slowly and steadily make um, improvements and that you take your time to truly work on your abilities and what it is that you feel like you know you may be a little bit overwhelmed with so i also see in the wasp spirit that your future self wants you to know that you know sometimes things happen that we can't really explain why they happen i mean most likely they're just life lessons basically or you know 
we have to somehow turn them into something positive. But sometimes things happen in life where your feelings get hurt or you feel like you're somehow devalued. And you know, just sometimes life just stings in a way that cannot be explained and in a way where you feel like, you know, why did this need to happen to me? And your future self definitely wants you to know that that is completely normal, that that happens to everyone and that sometimes those situations just occur in order for you to truly prove to yourself that you are a good person regardless of when the going gets tough or regardless of how someone may have treated you you still have the best intentions you're still a positive person you're somebody who can still push forward and that's how you know that you're truly somebody with pure and good intentions for yourself as well as other people you know that you are in fact a good person when even when the going gets tough and people hurt you, you still only want good for them. You still just want them to be doing well in their own corner, you know, away from you. But you don't wish them bad. You just know that you just know that you're a good person at the end of the day and there's nothing you can do about certain situations, but that is only a little percentage of your life. So 90% of your life is how you react to situations, it's what you make of your life, and 10% is what, things that you actually can't really influence, things that you know just happen. So uh, your future self definitely wants you to always know your self-worth and to always know that as long as you love yourself and as long as you see yourself as worthy and deserving nothing can phase you even if life stings you know you'll move on you'll be stronger and better and whatever it is that you're struggling with be it work school whatever position it is that you sort of want to um, conquer and move on from know that slow and steady wins the race you know everyone sort of grows at their own pace and it's important for you to not pressure yourself to move quicker than you can so yeah group number five that is the reading that i get from your future self and i hope you found this insightful and helpful if you did do not forget to thumbs it up and yeah i will see you in my next reading